As we all know, it's very difficult to book concert tickets in Japan, especially if you're a foreigner. It's very confusing. It's very complicated. You don't even know where you're going to start. So I'm here to help you guys. I'll let you know how was I able to secure a ticket in Japan wherein I don't have any address in Japan. I don't have Japan mobile number. <laughs> Are you excited, guys? Are you? Are you? Are you? I am excited. Excited na ba kayo? Kasi ako excited na. Talagang, oh! Hello, everyone! Welcome to my channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to share my experience on how was I able to secure Japan concert ticket. So, I'm very excited. I'll be able to see Treasure in person on December. Woo! Ah, I'm so happy! As we all know, it's very difficult to book concert tickets in Japan, especially if you're a foreigner. It's very confusing. It's very complicated. You don't even know where you're going to start. So I'm here to help you guys. I'll let you know how was I able to secure a ticket in Japan wherein I don't have any address in Japan. I don't have Japan mobile number. So first step, just download any pass application. It's available in Apple and Google Play Store. Okay, so what is AnyPass? Ano nga ba yung AnyPass? AnyPass, it's an application wherein if you purchase ticket, it will be delivered to that app. And that app is the one that you're going to use to show it to the concert venue. And you're gonna watch the concert. So if you are wondering how was I able to register in any pass, it's just very easy, guys. There are two options. I am a foreigner. I'm from the Philippines. I don't have any Japan number. I don't have any Japan address. First option is for you to call the number. When you click it, it will automatically go through the voice prompt. But I don't know anything about Japanese. I don't speak that language. So I don't know which number or what information I need to provide if it's on the phone. So I suggest, guys, that you send a text message using your mobile number. You're gonna ask if there's a charge. Yes, there is a regular charge for sending international text message. I'm just not certain how much it was, but I think it's around 15 pesos. Meron po siyang bayad. Ang pag-register, kasi po nag-load po ako nun. Nag-load ako ng 15 or 20 pesos para makapag-register sa AnyPass. And then after that, I was able to have my own account in AnyPass. First, you just have to register. For those people that are confused on how to register, all you just have to do is to follow the step-by-step -step process on their website. I suggest that you use Google Chrome because there is an option to translate uh, Japanese to English. Okay, so since we're done registering in any pass, the second step is for you to go to Momo Plus and register again for you to link your Momo ID when you purchase the ticket. In my case, I will be watching treasure on December 7 in Nippon Gaishi Hall. Okay, so since you have already downloaded any pass, you have already registered, let's go to the next step is for you to create your Momo Plus ID. It's very easy. You just have to fill up the form. It's available on this website. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. So, all you just have to do is to fill up all of the information that they needed. As far as I remembered, I placed my name, my date of birth. Also asking for katakana. What do we mean by katakana? The Japanese form of your name. There are websites, guys, that you can use if you don't know how to translate your name into katakana. And what I did was I just copied my name, placed it 
on that website then there is an equivalent katakana for my name i just copied it again place it on my notepad it's very important guys for you to uh to do that so that when the sale happens you are ready to fight for your life just like what i did today i want to share my experience and for this experience i'll be speaking in tagalog i'll just have to put captions if ever in case that you'd like to know what i'm talking about okay story time so yg announced last march 2022 that Tresha will be having their first japan arena tour hindi ako nakabili kasi i don't have any plans yet so, I was not aware that time and I don't know the ticketing process. Lately lang naman ako naging tumi, diba? Pero hinabol ko lahat yung pinagpapapanood ko lahat ng mga dapat panoorin. So, last week of September, my sister decided to go and celebrate her birthday this coming December in Japan. So, ako naman natuwa ako, syempre may chance na mapanood ko yung treasure sa Japan. Kaya lang, ang pinakawa, winu-worry ko talaga kasi, is wala nang available na tickets. So, syempre, di ba, na-late na ako nung, nung pagbili ng ticket kasi hindi ko nga, di, naman, di ko naman alam na magka-concert sila doon. And, wala pa nga tayong update kung, di ba, kung mag-open sila, kahit na may multiple visa ka ba, eh, kung close naman yung border, di ba, hindi ka din makakapunta. So, ang ginawa ko talaga, nag nagdasal ako. I really prayed, I really prayed so hard that there will be another resale of ticket. Kasi I've been reading comments na on Twitter, I've, I've been reading updates on social media that it's already been sold out since September pa. Antay ako na nag-antay sa update ng YG. Kung nagtataka kayo kung saan ako naghanap ng update, dito yon, Yan, sa YG. Bakit? Kasi this is the website wherein you can see updates from YG Treasure Japan. They will also be giving out links. Yung link na yon yun ang susundan nyo. There are, I think, four or three links. The link that you're going to press is the first one. It's Mumo. Because that's where we registered, remember? We don't have any Japan number. So, that's the first and only option that you have in order to secure a Japan concert ticket. Because if you're going to select the second, the third, and the fourth, I've tried that, guys. It's not gonna go through if you don't have any Japan number. Those links below, it's not gonna it's not gonna go through. Unlike Momo ID Plus, if you have your own Momo Plus ID, it will go through. Just like what happened to me. Okay. So ayun na nga, nag-announce ulit November first week of November yung YG page na pina-follow ko na magkakaroon ng general ticket sale. Anak ako ng Diyos! Nagdasal talaga ako talaga. Sabi ko din sa kapatid ko nun, pagdasal mo naman ako, na sana makakuha ko ng concert ticket. Talagang sobrang excited ko. Ang nakalagay kasi doon, November 12, 10am. So, reminder guys, since ang um, Japan is one hour ahead sa Philippines, kailangan mag-ready kayo. Pag sinabing 10 a.m., dapat mga 9 a.m. nag ready na kayo just to check if tickets are already available. I missed the first concert that they had here in the Philippines. I was late. I can show you the videos later. Na hindi nga ako nakapunta doon. At sobrang I regret talaga na I was not able to watch their... Ngayon talaga, I promise myself that if ever there's a chance that I can watch the concert, I will do my best in order for me to see Treasure because I really love them so much. Okay, as you can see here in the video, you just have to make sure that you're ready when you log in, okay? So in my case, I've already saved my information in Momo Plus. Alright, so I have placed my email address and then my password. Then you just have to click log in automatically. 
Okay. So since I'm using Google Chrome, there's already a translation. So you just have to agree the terms and conditions. And then all you just have to do is to wait for a confirmation code. In my case, I have received the confirmation code. I place the confirmation code and then click next. So I have placed the number, then click next. Then after, you just have to select the venue and the date that you would like to have. In my case, it's um, December 7, Nippon Gaishi uh, concert. So there are still options. As you can see, we have res all seats reserved and standing. So it's very difficult for you guys if you're on the standing position because there are no seats and you just have to dis to stand on the designated view, which is very, very, very hard, right? And there are there are times that you're unable to see the performance very well, but that's okay. You just have to read everything uh, from their terms and conditions just to make sure that you know what to expect and what you need to do. So you just have to do it one by one, and. There are op three options on how you can pay it. You can pay it by a pay EC, credit card, and convenience store. Just to set expectations, I was very confused that time because there is a message there that the credit card issued overseas cannot be used. So I have a Philippine card. I'm using RCBC. So, dun sa mga Pilipino na gusto mag-purchase, I'm using a debit card. I have my uh, savings account in RCBC and gumana yung debit card ko. Okay? Kasi, diba, para siyang credit card, good as credit card na din siya. Pero debit card siya, okay? So, I use my debit card in order to purchase the concert ticket. So, credit cards with Visa, Master, and JCB marks can be used. Maybe that's the reason why as well it went through. But in my case, my debit card worked. So, I have placed my name, my last name first, and then my first name. Second is the place where you have to place the katakana. Remember, you have to go to a website, translate your name into Japanese or into katakana, you just have to place it there. Then after that, it asked my phone number. I just have to place the phone number that I used from the AnyPass application that I registered. So, kung ano ang ginamit nyong phone number when you registered in AnyPass, that should be the same phone number that you need to use when you, you are placing it separate pag purchase ng ticket when you are purchasing the ticket okay then it'll ask for your gender it will ask for your date of birth you just have to place it twice and um it also asks for uh, the address if you're wondering which address are you going to use in the application form for getting the tickets in my case i use my hotel's address. I'll be staying in Nagoya Casadera Hotel, so I googled their address, and that's what I placed there. Then, after I have placed all of the information that they needed, um, it will go through. It will ask you to read the terms and conditions that they have. Okay? So, it's very easy, guys. It's very easy. It's just a bit confusing if you're just new or if you don't know what to do, but it's very easy. You just for a sum up, you just have to download any pass, register in Momo, Momo Plus ID, and then wait for the sale. Place the, all of the information, and there you go. You'll be able to secure the ticket. Okay. After placing all of the information that um, they needed, all you have to do is to pay it via credit card or which. Whichever is very convenient for you guys. If you're already staying in Japan and then you did it online and then you'd like to pay it in the convenience store in Japan, I would just like to make it clear. I believe the convenience store that they're talking about 
it doesn't mean that if there is Lawson or if there is 7-Eleven in your country, you'll be able to pay it there directly. What we're referring to is the Lawson or 7-Eleven or convenience stores available in Japan. So don't confuse yourself. Okay, so once you have already registered in any pass, you already have a Momo ID, you have already waited for the general sale, you have placed the information, you are able to process the payment na. So you will be receiving an email confirmation that your application has already been accepted just like this. Okay, so once you have already received that email, don't worry guys, okay? It's normal that you will not have the ticket itself on any pass. Because there is an update from YG Entertainment as well that the tickets will be available a week before the concert. And the seats will be available a day before the concert. So, I'm not just certain if it's applicable to any purchases that make in Japan. Ganon yung ginagawa ng YG kapag ka nag-purchase ka ng ticket from Momo and then sa any pass matatransfer siya a, a week before the concert, ganyan. Okay? Be careful to when you are placing information. The, the number that you place in Momo should be the same on the any pass registered phone number that you have. Okay? So, please read carefully. Don't miss anything out. The name should be the same as well from your any any pass information. And it's gonna be a less hassle when you go there. I hope I was able to help you on idea on what to expect and what you need to do in case that you are going to purchase ticket, concert ticket in Japan. So be careful purchasing tickets from random people in Twitter or, or from people that you just met there. So say for example, you are unable to get any lock in purchasing tickets from the official websites and you're trying to purchase it from a person that already secured an any pass ticket. Be careful guys, okay? So we have two types of tickets. The parent and companion ticket. What do we mean by parent ticket? The parent ticket is the person who purchased the ticket and has the any pass official ticket. Okay, so say for example, I am the parent ticket. I purchased two tickets. I can give out the companion ticket to you. I can transfer it via email, via line, or via SMS. Because someone from Twitter um advised me about that okay so be careful if it's a companion ticket that you're trying to purchase yes it can be transferred but if it's the parent ticket that you are trying to purchase it's non-transferable i am the only one that can use that ticket okay be careful if it's a companion ticket it's fine however there is also a gist you should be going with the parent ticket if you are the companion ticket. So, you should be together. Dapat magkasama kayo pagka nanood kayo ng concert. When you watch the concert, you should be together. Because if you're not together at the time of entry, there will be a hassle for, for you to enter it. Because they'll be looking for the parent ticket. Or the person that originally purchased the ticket. I hope you understand. Am I making sense? Okay, so say for example, I have the parent ticket and there is a resale. I sold it there. That's fine. There's a chance that for there's a chance that you can purchase it there. Okay? So, ako yung parent ticket, binenta ko yung ticket ko sa sa any pass resale. Pwede siya, pero kung sinasabi sa inyo na nagbebenta nun sa inyo na bilhin mo doon, at nabili nyo, okay yon, ha? That's okay when you are able to secure and book it in any pass. However, if 
for say for example if i am the parent ticket i sold it in any past resale there are also other people that will try to purchase that ticket so there's no guarantee it's a bit confusing i know but if you're able to secure it from the any pass then it's fine but if they're selling their own parent ticket without the resale na nangyari i doubt i doubt na makuha niya yung ticket if you have any questions just uh comment down comment down below i will answer everything as much as possible okay so thank you see you treasure in japan watch my vlog for that Thank <laughs> you.